filling in the gap between Episodes 6, Return of the Jedi, and 7, The Force Awakens. We are here discussing Marvel Comics' Poe Dameron, issue number 2. First Order Stormtroopers, along with Agent Terex, have followed the tracking signal down through the caves, where Poe Dameron is, seeking out the location of the famed Lor Santeca. Agent Terex is a flamboyant sort who seems to be a bit unusual in comparison to other First Order officers. They arrive at the chamber where the Kreech are in the middle of communing with the giant egg that they claim contains the unborn savior. A flashback takes us to Agent Terex's personal starship, the Carrion Spike. For those who are caught up on their canon novels, you will note that the Carrion Spike was formerly the personal ship of Grand Moff Tarkin, and was seen extensively in Jaime Luceno's novel of the same name. Terex receives a communication from Captain Phasma which shows that he is not a regular member of the First Order military, but more of an advisor. Terex and the First Order may not have the exact same ideals, but they serve each other well, and Terex wants to make sure he is part of the First Order when they begin to take over the galaxy. Back in the present, Poe Dameron is watching from afar while the Kreech try to tell Agent Terex that they know nothing of a Poe Dameron. Poe sends BB-8 to get a message to his squad while he continues to observe the action. Just then, a stormtrooper alerts Terex that they have found the tracking signal indicating that Poe was there, and probably still is. Above the surface, Poe's squad is trying to discern the order that BB-8 communicated. Get some leverage. While they have strict orders not to fire first when it comes to the First Order, they devise a plan to try and take over the First Order landing platform so that they can control the cave's entrance. Lulo, who is flying a more nimble alien fighter, makes a quick pass to try and instigate them into firing first. On his second pass, he claims his fingers slipped as his fighter fires on the forces below. Now the First Order is in pursuit. Agent Terex begins threatening the Kreech to the point that Poe Dameron reveals himself. Poe claims to have some leverage on Terex, but when the landing platform comes crashing down into the mouth of the cave, both the First Order and Poe were trapped. Terex orders his flame troopers to begin scorching the egg, knowing that this will cause the Kreech quite a lot of pain. He is hoping to use this to persuade Poe into telling them everything he knows. On top of that, even if Poe's squad managed to take out his landing platform, he has a heavy cruiser above an orbit with a large complement of fighters and troops, which seem to give him the upper hand. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave your comments and questions about this story or any elements of the Star Wars canon below. Till next time, may the, may the Force, Force be with, be with you. you.